because I'm not sure what's in there. Oh, it could be, it could be full. Ah! Ouch, look at these things. Shed. Over, check it out. You can kind of see it back there. Hey, what's going on guys? Austin with Crack and Junk Removal. Uh, today we got a big house clean out, hoarder house clean out. Um, it's a mix of both. It's not a complete hoarder clean out, but uh, it does have a good bit of stuff in it. And uh, got to remove a satellite dish, to cut up a big picnic table, and remove a bunch of junk from a house that's over 100 years old. But before we get there, I gotta stop at McDonald's. I gotta get some ice. Um, I gotta fill up this cooler, make sure we got enough ice to keep the drinks and the snacks cool for me and the guys. So that's what we're doing right now. We're we got some Gatorades, we got some waters, and we got some Pringles. They were on sale, two dollars a can. So So we just showed up to the job and we're waiting on the customer to meet us here to unlock the house. But there's some stuff outside that we can take care of. So let me show you first uh, the outside of the house and that we have to uh, haul away. So we got this big pile here. Uh, the customer says to leave one of the trash cans. She said she wasn't even sure how they got here. Told her we cannot take any liquefied paint. If it's hardened, yeah, we can take it. So, got to clean up all these cans. It looks like somebody liked the Miller High Life. Um, <clears throat> so, these are full the last time I came. Yep, we're just gonna put those on the box truck last so that we can empty them out into the dumpsters at the transfer station. Uh, we got some shingles. Oh, I hate shingles. Those things are so heavy. Oh, it's the worst. Uh, we do have to remove all these vines from the house, as you can see. Looks like some more construction debris here in the back. A couple pallets, some scrap metals, some chairs, a tarp. More vines here. And then, oh, what is this? Something was crawling through this grass. Looks like from under, under there. First thought based upon the size of the track was like a python or a snake, but no, it's probably just a groundhog or something. Um, I don't know if he's down there. I don't, I don't see him, so I don't know. He went back here somewhere. Oh, speaking of back here, we also got to fish out some of this junk back here. We do have a toilet. We have a couple tires. And I did not see that building last time I was here. That's interesting. I'm going to have to make my way back there and see. Uh, but first, let me show you the rest of the house. Uh, I've got some glass over here. We do have to take this satellite dish down as well. We're gonna have to take this old, oh man, picnic table. Uh, still pretty solid. I don't know if that's something you could fix up, sand down, repaint, if it's even worth it. I don't know, picnic table's always nice to have, but I don't have time for it. So, and here's a look at the house itself uh, yeah so we got this pile over here got some wood flooring old bench you got more wood and lumber and scrap metal just a little bit of everything can't take the hazardous waste like I said so we'll put that in the pile but we'll gladly take everything else so yeah that's just the outside of the job I'm interested to see what's in the shed back here. I don't know if it's part of the property or if it belongs to somebody else. But when the homeowner gets here, I will ask them about it because I'm not sure what's in there. Oh, it could be, it could be full. It could be full. But I did tell them in the quote, hey, if there's you know other items that you need us to haul away, those will be an additional charge. Uh, they were okay with that. They they, they understood. Nice people. Uh, so. Just do I want to crawl through that right now? Well, I'm going to have to, so I might as well, right? So you guys are going to come with me. Oh, man. 
cobwebs. All right, keep going. Maybe I'll find that groundhog. Oh man, hopefully no one's living in here. There's more stuff over there. Oh man. Woo wee, jackpot of junk it looks like. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take some pictures so I can show the customer here. So I just came out of this little shed I found and I found another shed over here. Check it out, you can kind of see it back there. I'll try to focus the camera. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to get back there and it does look like there's some more, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, um, construction debris and stuff in there. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna have to make my way back there. I'm gonna try to find an easier way, but I'm gonna get out of this part right here. Oh man, I'm gonna try to throw out some of this junk. While I'm waiting on the customer, stuff is embedded in weeds. So, come on. This is, oh man. Quartz stuck under there. Oh, can't get that out. Got that. Little odds and ends things over here. Um. Uh, I gotta get out from here in order. Uh, shoot. Getting stuck. I'm caught up in all these weeds and these vines. Oh, man. Well. Take that. Take that, take that, uh, pull that out. Oh man, I should. It's always, always something. I don't know what this is. I'm not touching that without gloves. This, I don't know, it's all disintegrating. It looks like it's falling apart. Oh man. Let's get this nasty old toilet out. It's out good enough for right now until I get my gloves. Um, let's see if I can fish out these tires. I don't think there's no snake in there. Well, if he is, he's not in there anymore. Uh, grab this bottle. Uh, I can't reach back here. This one's heavy. Oh man, it's stuck in the ground. Uh. Uh. Uh, there we go. Finally got her out. Oh, I'm falling. Dang it. Uh. Oh man, look at that. Thing was in there pretty good. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. All right. Now, let's see about getting back there. I guess I'm going to have to crawl through here. Um, again. Another, here's a better look at that shed up there. Oh wow, more junk on the back side here. Um, ah! Ouch, look at these things. Oh. Ah. Got me pretty good, wouldn't you say? Check that out. Alright. Um, well. Uh, let's see if there's an easier way back here without the pricks get me. All right, so it's very hard to access those two additional structures, so I'm going to let the customer know that if he wants us to remove those items, we'd be happy to, but we have to be able to access the area safely and with the thick vegetation, all the thorns. 
it's not something we can do here because if it was a few items maybe but those things are about a quarter to half full and it would be a lot to drag them out through all this as you can see so I'll let the customer know about that and see what he wants to do but you always find new stuff on every job there's always some junk hidden somewhere underneath some stuff something you didn't catch the first time so when you're building a quote and you submit it over always put in there that if you do find more junk that will be an additional charge because you don't want to give the customer a price and tell them that includes the full house clean out without mentioning cost for additional items so I'm gonna take a rest on this trusty old picnic table and wait for the customer to get here but yeah here's a look at how it gives you an idea um, yeah it's a pretty big house luckily though it's like I said not super full uh, a few big items couch big hutch in there uh, I think refrigerator um, big chest freezer uh, I think a mattress or two other than that those are the main big items in there so customer should be here any second I'm gonna catch my breath here I'll show you guys the inside here in just a minute 